Breast implants. Chronic inflammation. Capsular contracture. Immune system on overdrive. Saline implants. Not safe. Silicone. Can migrate. MRI clear. Still doesn't show everything. Explant without end block. Risk of residual toxin. Social media, we know this from other studies, and I think even your studies, that, that it's a driver of information for sure, and some of it's clearly misinformation. You know, the women that have breast implant illness with the saline implants, you know, during the moratorium, we were only using saline implants, and they've had these for a longer amount of time, but, you know, I don't know if that's a, an actual reason for why more of the women with saline implants are identifying as having breast implant illness. I think it depends on where you are. Uh, the, the implant that causes breast implant illness is the most popular implant in the area. I mean, yep. one thing that we know is it's not related to the implant. In our study, 64% had saline implants. 80% were smooth implants. Uh, most were not ruptured. Uh, we didn't see capsular contracture in the BII cohort versus the control. So, you know, it's the most popular implant in an area is going to be the most common implant to have it. It's not related to, doesn't seem to be directly related to the implant.